Hello everyone, Genesis Ryder here with a live game of Neutral Flag CTF on Ragnarok from the perspective of the Mantis driver. I'll be teaching you how to use the Mantis a little bit more effectively in some Capture the Flag games, specifically on Ragnarok. And we were facing a pretty good party of five on the enemy team. And you can see their stats right here. They're definitely not super negative players. They know what they're doing, um, as should be very evident. Um, via multiple deaths in the film, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that this film is a little bit different from normal in that normally when I'd be making these hybrid tips and tricks videos with live gameplay commentary and reactions, my face cam would pop up in the top right hand corner. I'm having trouble with my webcam right now. I hope you understand that when the film pauses, when the action pauses, that commentary will be based around tips and tricks that I've um, discovered and learned from after the film, but when the film is actually playing, you'll be hearing my live gameplay reactions inside the game when it actually happened. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I'll get the mantis this time if you three can lift top middle and then one of us... Uh... Now it is 100% crucial that I share with you this key bit of information before the game even gets started. The loadout that you want to be using when you have the Mantis is constructed very similarly to the one I'm currently using. Let me explain. When you're using Wheelman in combination with Gunner, as you see right here on your screen, Wheelman does three things for a vehicle. It allows the vehicle to have a slightly more amount of health. This health is, of course, after your Mantis shields have depleted. The, when people start shooting you then, that is the health that they're shooting. It allows your mantis to have slightly more health, and that health can slightly recharge. This is not a visual characteristic you can see on your screen, like your rebounding shield. This is more something that happens in the background. The second thing that Wheelman does is it reduces the hijacking window that enemy players have to hijack you, which is very useful, and it makes it very hard for them to hijack you. The third thing that Wheelman does, and probably the most important, is that your mantis is not stunned as long when hit by a charged plasma pistol bolt. Oftentimes, enemy players will actually have to hit you with a charged plasma pistol bolt to stun you for several seconds so that they can hijack you. The only other real alternative way to kill a mantis is with a Spartan laser or other heavy weapon, making the mantis very difficult to kill. But the other thing, and this is something that so many people don't understand, is that the gunner perk allows you to fire the Mantis chain gun longer before it overheats. It amounts to a few seconds, but because the chain gun on the Mantis is so wildly inaccurate, those extra few bullets that you're allowed to fire can really save your butt when you're trying to mow down three people top middle. As far as the other four slots in this loadout are concerned, the battle rifle is just my personal preference. This is a good all-around weapon. The thruster pack allows me to thruster away from vehicles trying to splatter me, or away from a vehicle I just got out of that is about to explode. The plasma pistol allows me to stun vehicles that I just got hijacked out of. As far as your grenade type choice is concerned, I would recommend loading out with the plasma grenades, not as I do here with the frag, simply because you will be hanging around vehicles quite a lot when using this loadout. It obviously follows that you do want to be using a grenade type that could do a lot of damage to vehicles. I'll lift bottom middle, because that's how I roll. We gotta get that flag over to our side early, though. We didn't lift. We did not lift. We're still not... Okay. We've gotta get up there a lot faster than that. We gotta get up there a lot faster than that. Now, a few brief things to stay here. One is the description of neutral flag. In neutral flag, the flag does spawn top mid, and you have to get five flag caps to win. The problem with neutral flag is that you have to maintain control of top metal before you cap. Once you cap, the flag resets back to the exact same position, top mid or the center of the map. So you must maintain control of that position if you are to get the next flag cap. If you can successfully control the middle of the map where the flag spawns, you can get multiple flag caps in a row back to back using this method. Off the start here, it is extremely important that three of my teammates lift out of the front of our base to get to top center where the flag is as soon as possible. Now you may be thinking, what do the other two teammates do? Well, one grabs the sniper. As you can see, Logic does right here. You can see the sniper trail on the screen right there. And in the kill feed, you can see that Logic just got a double kill on two enemy players trying to grab the flag. 
the second player should grab Mantis, as I am doing. Unfortunately here, my teammates don't realize that, and none of them lift till many, many seconds after the game started. But that would be the correct way to start a game of Ragnarok. This is a great example of what happens when you don't lift three teammates top center at the beginning of the game. Okay. How did he grab it? What the I'm... Dude, I'm dead serious. We have got to get up the top mid way faster than that. I didn't even see the dude, like, grab the flag. That was pretty dumb. Yeah, but they're not going to. I guarantee you they're not going to. They're... No, they're not. Unless they want to just keep dying. Yeah, man. See, I, see, they're just gonna hold the mantis at their base and wait till it, wait till the end of it. I've done this before, guys. Like, they're gonna wait till the end of the game, and then cap it. We have. They're on. They're on water cave. They're on water cave. Hold on. I can't see them here. Need help on mid, need help on mid with the, uh, with the, uh... Guy, there's a guy top mid, I'm, I'm gonna about to die, hold on. Yeah, somebody get on this squad with me, man. Nah, I grabbed the flag, team. wow, you're right. So as you can see, the enemy team just capped the flag and it respawned top center, and there are a few very noteworthy things to draw from the situation. One of which is, the enemy players could have held onto the flag at their base, burning down the timer, until there were just a few seconds left, capping it, uh, making them 1-0 above us in terms of score and winning the game, making it impossible with only five seconds or few seconds left on the timer for us to carry the flag all the way back to our base and score in that amount of time. I've only seen this happen successfully once, and I was the person holding the flag in that situation. The game was brutal. These games are 15 minutes long, and holding out for that long in your base with the flag is kind of ridiculous. So what the enemy team has done here is trying to push a successful strategy, and that is controlling top mid right as they cap the flag. The problem is they do not have complete control of top middle. I, in the Mantis, am not dead yet. But as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, a red player has pushed up, and as you will soon see, the Mantis has pushed up almost to top mid. This is a good play on the enemy team's part, but I am not dead yet which means that they do not have full control of top mid, and they should not have capped the flag yet. Guys, I need help top mid right now. I need help top mid. Hold on, hold on, all five, it's all five. Everybody's just keep mid. Please, uh, I'm gonna get stuck on mid. I got double kill, nice. Don't cap it, don't cap it. Hey, he's going for Spartan laser, he's going for Spartan laser. I'm trying to kill this dude. He's, he just Spartan laser on his side. Come on. They're trying to stick the living crowd out of me. Right now, right now, right now. Just to give you a brief bit of context, the person who is saying cap it right now, cap it right now, is LMAO, otherwise known as Logic, who is sniping at the beginning of the game in our base. Actually, did quite a good job on it. The reason why he is saying cap it right now is because we still have a Mantis top mid, and as you can see on my radar, the guy behind me at Pelican also has sights on me. It would be very difficult for the enemy players to hijack me at this point, much less get a flag back to their base with the numbers they have. They have two or three players top mid, and LMAO is in the position to grab the next flag. And I want you to notice how perfectly this works out with me holding top mid, staying alive with my teammate watching me. This is your job when you're in the Mantis, is to stay alive as long as possible, not necessarily get all the kills as you see here, but provide expert support fire 
on as many players as possible while recharging, staying alive, and staying on your side of top mid. Cabot, 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 Cabot. Help on mid, help on mid, help on mid. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, top mid, absolute, absolute top mid. Oh my god, they killed me a pelican. As you just heard, my teammate called out that he died on pelican, and I'm going to react to this call out by pulling back just a little bit and hiding behind a rock fissure that is in our river in front of our base. And what I'm going to try to do here is hide long enough to where my shields on the manta start regenerating. This is just like playing as a Spartan would. You're trying to hide behind cover, wait, and not receive fire so your shields begin regenerating, pop back out, fire a few shots, and do the same thing again. Unfortunately, I get flanked from multiple sides, and this is one of the reasons why you really want to maintain Pelican as the second most important position besides the Mantis to maintain. From Pelican, you can have a full view of top middle, and it's very hard to kill you. Much harder to kill you than if you're on machine gun turret, because Pelican is very hard to nade and even hard for the Mantis to navigate around. Pelican, Pelican, I need help with Pelican, I need help with Pelican. Don't cap, do not cap. They're trying to, they're too positive leaning now. I need, I Pel there are Pelican guys, I need help. Okay, yeah, he's still trying to plaza pistol me. I'm really getting weak here. Top middle as well. Pelican still up. Pel wow, he's still shooting me. I killed him. Hold on, hold on. We're about to get control of top middle. This guy top mid with the plaza pistol. He he's gonna plaza pistol me. I just got plaza pistol. Top middle, I just got plaza pistol. We should be able to cap it now. Cap it now, cap it now, cap it now. Cap now. They have sniper on Pella, on the Michigan turret. I'm getting raped. They have sniper on machine gun turret. They're gonna grab it. They're gonna grab it. I need help. I'm not gonna stay alive. I'm on fire. We gotta get over it. Sniper, sniper on machine gun turret. Sniper on machine gun turret. I'm trying to stay alive, dude, but it's not working. I need you guys. Wow, I died. We need to go for that flag right now. Okay, we gotta go for that flag. Good. good job. I'm just gonna pull it as far as possible. Yeah. Alright, I got their sniper. Come on, stay top mid, stay top mid. Very weak. Okay, that, that nade from our team was... Okay, hold on, don't. They have a... They have a... Now, I want you to notice the sheer brilliance of this situation that's about to unfold. The guy in the dead center of the screen who I'm currently shooting at does have the Spartan laser and will inevitably escape around this little rock wall that he's right in front of. As you can see, right next to my radar, a little bit hiding behind my thresher pack icon on the bottom left of the screen, the enemy mantis is pushing up quite quickly. Now, my teammate makes a very good call here, and that is to go ahead and cap the flag, which he tells my teammate who's sitting back at our base waiting to cap the flag, he tells him to do so. The flag responds top middle, and we're able to pull it almost to our side before the Mantis is top mid. What you have to realize is you must take calls like this very, very carefully, but take chances as well. Because only four of my team are able to push top middle at a time, with obviously one of us holding the flag back at our base waiting to cap, that means we're facing five enemy players. We're at a disadvantage. You must take opportunities like this when they come to you. Damn, hey, Mantis top mid. They're going to try to hold top mid here. We need it. We need it. Kevin now, Kevin now, Kevin now, Kevin now. Go. go, go cap, cap. Escort your carrier. I got lasered uh, right side of the earth. Wow, we, I'm not sure we should have capped that. Hold on. Oh, watch the well, fear. Well, hang back and watch. Fear, hang, hang back and watch the flag. It should you should be all free to cap. They they they, they cap again. They cap in here. Cap in. Nice. Everyone shoot Mantha stop middle now. Everyone shoot it. Pelican, you're gonna have to assist. Nade flag, nade flag, nade flag. 
Nice, I'm going to flag. Hold on, hold on, hold on. An advanced tip for those of you interested in running the flag better. When you have the flag and you're running back to your base and receiving enemy fire, your shield will chip down. You need to watch those shields very closely. As they are about to deplete and reach zero, you want to jump. This way, if you die, the flag will be thrown a little bit farther in the direction you were already moving via your jump momentum. And that is crucial because right here I'm about to do that exact same tactic. And if I hadn't have done this, the enemy would have likely gotten the flag back to their base because the flag would have still been top middle and they would have been behind cover to get the flag back to their base. I need help, I'm it. I need help, I'm it. I'm back, gonna drop it. It's right there, Tommy, right there. I dropped it on our, our side. I dropped it on our side. It's still right there. He's going around the wrap around. He's going around the wrap around. Who's on machine gun turret right now? Okay, finally. Nice job. Now, a player who is not thinking would just immediately charge this flag and try to get as far back to our base as possible. Luckily, I realized that there are way too many enemy players on the flag for me to go for it. And I pull back to around to machine gun turret and wait till we've killed off most of the enemy players before then going for the flag and making it as far back to our base as possible. This is crucial decision making under pressure and it does win games. Yeah, I know. Hold on. I need help. I need help right now. I need help right now. Holy crud. Enemy flag. Yeah, they all want that. They're not all one shots. I'm going for their flag. I need help. I need, I'm going to go for the flag. Watch top mid. Watch top mid. Oh god. Hey, on Ripper. I'm bringing top mid. I'm bringing top mid. I dropped the flag right there, top mid. I dropped the flag right there, top mid. I dropped the flag right there, top mid. I see it. I see it. I gotta kill this kid first. We all died. Or one of them died. Everybody should be at top mid. I don't understand. Nice snipe, dude. Need help, need help. Going on. I wow, I just got naded to crud. Everyone grab that flag, try to grab that flag. He's going for it one shot. Come on, let's pull it over. How did I not kill that kid? Man, I have full Spartan laser, I'm grabbing flag. I have full Spartan laser, I'm grabbing flag. They're attacking me from top mid, I need you guys to, they're gonna be shooting a turret. He's on the wraparound, guys. Wow, he's he's done, he's done. We're good. I dropped the flag in front of our base, he's right there. He's charging for our flag right now, he's getting our flag right now. Okay. What? My melee didn't register? Okay. What happened here, dude? Turret, turret. I'm watching, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on. My, camo's my I just got the flag in our base, he's going for our base from the machine gun turret. Wow. Is that our Where? Oh my god. That Warhog, they flipped the Warhog. Do not cap it, do not cap it. Camo's my Brett turret, and they have one top mid. Dude, shoot that hog, it's on fire. Okay, we need help at our base right now. Three people at our base. Fly, fly, fly carry back up. Fly carry back up. Our mantis is up. We need to get that. Hold on. Let me get that mantis. I'm gonna have to have way more support top middle as far as the plasma pistol goes if I'm gonna stay alive with this mantis. They're gonna have a freaking hard Spartan laser. Never one shot top mid. One going our saw. Here, hold on. Here, look to the left. Hold on. Hyper's one shot top mid again. Level now, he's weird. Two weeks on mid. One shot, they both one shot. I'm one shot too. I'm dead. Fear on the left. Fear, fear left. I got one and I got sniped from the landing. Need help top mid. I need someone to push up here. I have two people on me top mid. Now, if you haven't figured out from this film already, you need to be calling out when you're in the Mantis if you're about to be plasma pistoled by the enemy team, or if you are plasma pistoled. This will notify your teammates to look 
where you are and begin firing at the players attacking you. One of the most crucial points to note though is that if you are about to be hijacked you really need to get this caught out there because your sniper on your team can very easily snipe the guy who is hijacking you before he's able to plant a grenade or melee you to death. One of the most aggravating things is when my teammates have been in the Mantis and as soon as an enemy player has hijacked them, they've started moving around. I cannot snipe the guy who's hijacking you when you're moving. It is crucial that you do not move when you're being hijacked and you call out as much as possible, I'm being hijacked, I'm being hijacked, I'm being hijacked, so that your teammates can look at you and try to take the guy off your back. I'm getting plasma pistol, I'm getting plasma pistol, he's about to kill me. He's right there, thank you. He's done, he's done, dude. What's that our base? In our tree line. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. I killed him, I killed him. Top middle, top middle, hi. Stay alive here, stay alive. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Cabin now, go. I'm sorry, dude. I'm trying to help you out. There's the ghost. He's really playing passive here. I can't really. Uh, plaza pistol is again top mid. Plaza pistol is again top mid. I'm backing up. Uh, the ghost is on the right in the water. I can't see him. I'm being shot from top mid as well. Nice, good job. GG. Looking at the stats after this game, I want to point out the massive 19 assists that I had, along with my teammate who also, not even in the Mantis, had 19 assists as well. This just shows how well we were working together in that game. I think our start could be improved mildly, but guys, I really hope this film gave you greater, even greater depth and insight into neutral flag and how you play as the mantis and i'll see you on the next capture or whatever i end up recording peace guys